Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle certainly this is a very very impressive venue quite a sight to behold jim how are you reading the formation yes and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another if that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Fiorina. Now it's Fiorina. Oh, keeper's ball. Akpom. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Deftly done. And he just whacks it away. Akpom. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Just brushed off the ball there. Back to the keeper and go again. Good thinking by the keeper, he did well. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Can he score? And it's a goal! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Striding forward, facing goal. Danger averted for now. And it's been taken straight back. Pushes it out wide. Nicely controlled. Chip through. Played out to the right. Tries to cross. Akpom battles to win it back. Now can he finish? This is it in! Great reaction! Fiorina. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? A 
that's a promising ball. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Dashing forward at pace. Well positioned to make that interception. Boots it to safety. There really wasn't very much in that. Far away from being a telling final ball. Pope just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays, they could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. The game has already resumed here. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. And he's... Can he finish? It's in! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Hulk can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. We've got to see a, a real determination and purpose now if this deficit is to be recovered. No holding back and being patient about this challenge. It's time to roll the sleeves up and, and go for it. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Aimed long and direct. It's gone a long way up and away. Out for a throw. Pinged forward. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's got away. Dinks one in. Looking for a decent ball in. So the ball's got out of play and a change is upcoming. towards the flank and he just whacks it away well blocked and back out it comes and it's got through Nice touch. Akpom. And that has been clubbed away. And the changes then in quick succession. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. There's a long ball. 
what a header! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. to get it away and it's hoisted clear oh, that looks a foul yep, referee's given it well, the ref's been lenient here I doubt he'll get too many more chances It upfield, and he's made certain that won't get through. Akpom, time added on will be two minutes. Akpom, and that's been leave it clear. There is the final whistle. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? It's a poor result. They offered very little goal threat, and it's the kind of unproductive performance that can drain confidence pretty quickly. At the business end, they just can't close a deal. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.